So, Jen, we're in front of a, a, a 510 grand piano, and, and let's speak a little bit about the differences between the grand and, of course, the, the upright. I know you're going to pull out the keyboard a little bit and talk a little bit about the pedals and some of the other uh, subtle differences between the grands, and, and also speak about the size of the grands, too, Jen, because I know there's different sizes, right. and sometimes the, the consumers, they don't understand what the differences are. Well, it's, it's like, uh, in, 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 in any case, a bigger it says is better. Okay. So on, on grand piano, the bigger the piano is, the bigger the strings are, the bigger the hammers are, so the bigger the sound is going to be. Okay. Uh, and it's really an amazing uh, machine. Uh, now it takes it takes less uh, effort uh, on a grand piano to respond versus an uh, uh, upright or a wall piano because it takes less spring because they work more with gravity. Gravity. So you get a more responsive playing out of the grand piano. Uh, also, the, the pedals on the, uh, on the grand piano uh, are different uh, functions than uh, no, typically normal uh, uh, studio. So you got your sustain, and then the middle one, your sustainable it just holds the, the chord that you're playing, and the, the rest is shot. So it's, it's there for a purpose. Music left. And then the uh, the left pedal, it shifts us everything to the right, mm. and instead of hitting three strings, it will hit two. So you get a, 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 a more soft uh, sound. Now, I'm going to pull this action out so you can see how it's built. And grand pianos are, in a sense, easier to work than uh, studios because everything pulls out together. So any adjustment on grand piano, very simple, very, very nice to work on. Uh, there you can see uh, everything more clearly. You can repair things easier. And the response and to clean up and maintenance is also better. So very, very easy to uh, work on. Jen, sticky keys here with the same type of problem on the uprights? It's the same issue. Same issue. They, both, they, they have the same material, the same uh, uh, function, so they react to the same uh, ordeal in the temperature change. Okay. Okay. And the, because of the soundboard being here, uh, this versus on the upright where it's so water damage or anything else, unless there's high water damage, or yeah. let's just say if the case itself were damaged but not the soundboard, yeah. would it still be feasible to keep the piano? Yes. As, as long as the water doesn't reach to a point where it's, it's touching the, the keys or the keybed, the piano is okay. It's, it's not, you know, it could be work on. They do want to go a little bit of a stress because of it's intense humidity or something. Sure. They have to be possibly, you know, uh, worked on in that sense. But as far as, again, uh, contact, direct contact with water, it's, it's more difficult uh, to see that happen. And the pedals, are, it's all, you know, uh, uh, mechanical. It can be either re replaced or repaired. But in, in, in both scenarios, water, it will be the, the enemy number one. Number one. So sure. And Jen, what about maintenance on this, as we discussed on the upright? Is it basically the same kind of maintenance same, schedule? Yeah, yeah, same basically. Now, um, direct sunlight again on keys, it makes the keys come off. Mm -hmm because it just uh, overheats the glue and it just, there's a chance that it might peel off. Or also this coloration. They might change color okay. with time. Uh, the keys, time. Uh, yes. the keys, okay. Same way, uh, uh, you get direct sunlight to the uh, main uh, lower uh, bridge with the strings crossed by. Mm -hmm. They also can come off. Uh, so it's just, you know, uh, it could be put on in a place where uh, it doesn't get direct, you know, let's say five hours of direct sunlight. Okay. That, w that would be kind of harmful. Otherwise, uh, the same as uh, uh, the polyester finish, same or there. You can clean it up or you want to uh, shine it up, you can use a, a good uh, uh, high-end. Uh, a wax? Wax. And wax. Okay. Yeah. Very, very nice to keep. And then someone looking, let's say, the, the uh, grand piano versus a studio upright, 
is that something that they look would they be looking at difference of course in price but not only but what in tone and feel oh, and yeah. touch yeah. yeah the the sound is not comparable to any uh, any studio or any but does that have any that has more to do also with size of the piano because yes. there's smaller grands and of course there are larger yeah. grands no yeah the 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 the, the way is is being designed is it's been designed to be exposed mm -hmm. to sound uh, with a lid open of course and there is a way to maintain keys and string looking good uh, without, you know, keeping the lid down or down. Okay. Uh, there is some fabric that you can buy off the market mm -hmm. and cut up to size and, and lay over it. And it will prevent any kind of moist or dust, dust. going to beyond the string. So dust could actually be pretty yes. harmful if it's not cleaned yes. correctly. It's no? difficult to clean. Yeah. That's the only thing about it. It's so open. how would they clean if they wanted, if they were in, let's say, in an environment where there was maybe a little bit of pollen and dust yeah. and things like that? You're, you're basically, you're basically, uh, say, uh, cleaning mm -hmm. uh, time. It, it was just okay with a, a pipe cleaner with a, a brush attachment. Mm -hmm. And you can gently pass over the pins. Uh, follow the pattern of the strings and you can go over gently over the, the dampers and you can go the same way all the way back to the base strings and to the back end. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, try anything that you can uh, vacuum without putting force or uh, any strain on the strings. It's, it's perfectly fine. Fantastic. Yeah. Jen, any parting thoughts uh, for those that in the audience that are looking at piano either piano owners for, for a long time or those that are new, what would you, what are your, so your parting thoughts? Um, uprights, grants, the pianos itself, because you're, you're certainly a treasure. You've been doing this long enough and you certainly have enough experience in all of this. Well, um, I would say that uh, the piano is, is, is become part of the family. Mm -hmm. And to buy something uh, 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 like a grand piano versus a ball piano, uh, it's serious. It's something that you're thinking about either pass it on to the next generation mm -hmm. because it can last that long if you if it's well kept uh, and also uh, the sound of it the sound is, is, is not going to be comparable to any uh, upright mm -hmm. so it's, it's it's a unique sound and also the performance of the instrument is very different from the uh, 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 any studio or upright yeah, sure it's more responsive and it's, it's uh, less time to uh, to work on it, to make it right, and also it's more uh, desirable on the sound. Very good. Well, Jen, I'd like to say thank you very much uh, for coming out and sharing a lot of your many, many years of experience. I know you're, you're always very, very busy. But I know that the folks here at the Houston Piano Company are always trying to find you because you're always busy with someone looking at their piano. But uh, again, thank you very, very much. Oh, um, you're, you're a treasure and uh, there's not many people that can do what you do and do it as well as you do yeah, so thank a, you very much. I enjoy doing what I do and I, I, and I enjoy to see the families when they enjoy the, the really good, true, good piano sound. Fantastic. Well, again, thank you, Jen. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Happy New Year. Thank you.